Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining the call this morning. We are thrilled that you could join us for this exciting announcement. I'm Larissa Fenn from Hopa Ports. I'm gonna provide a bit of an overview of today's agenda before we get started. We do still have a couple of people uh, joining the call, but we're just doing, um, doing a bit of logistics as we get started. We have speakers today from Hopa Ports and BioVeld Canada. We have a video tour of the space that we're showcasing today, and that'll be followed by our community representatives to speak to what today's announcement means for Niagara. After the formal remarks, we'll open up to some questions. We'll take media questions, and then if there is some time, we might be able to take um, additional questions from the floor, to, so to speak. Um, before we start, uh, an acknowledgement. Hopa Ports recognizes with gratitude our presence on the traditional territories of the Haudenosaunee, Anishinaabe, and Huron-Wendat nations. We acknowledge that Hopa's port lands are, in Hamilton and Niagara, situated on the treaty territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation under the Between the Lakes Treaty. We stand with our Indigenous neighbors in celebrating and protecting the lands and waters of the Great Lakes and all they provide, life, resources, transportation, and trade. With that, I'll turn it over to our Hopa Ports President and CEO, Ian Hamilton. Ian? Hi, and uh, yeah, as, as Larissa mentioned, my name is Ian Hamilton. Thank you uh, very much for everyone uh, Everyone has joined us. It looks like a pretty, uh, a pretty good crowd. Um, as Larissa mentioned, I'm the CEO of the Hopa Ports, also known as the Hamilton Oshawa Port Authority. Um, it's also my pleasure to welcome such a large number of special guests here today. Um, including um, Mayor Steele from, uh, from Port Colborne, Mayor Campion from, from Welland. Um, we've got Ann Weldes, who's the chair of Hopa Ports, um, Marika Swain from the Ontario Ministry of Economic Development, Dolores Fabiano from the uh, Southern Tier Chamber of Commerce, Don Sear, the chair of the Niagara Industrial Association, uh, Manoj, from the, the CEO from, uh, from Thoreau, Jerry Jone from uh, Trillium Rail, uh, Keenan Loomis from the uh, Hamilton Chamber of Commerce and also on the Hopa board, and, um, and Michael Watt, who is um, uh, as executive vice president from, uh, from Walker Industries. As, um, anyways, um, as an organization, HOPA's mandate is to support Ontario's waterfront communities, leverage the transportation assets, and make the most of their industrial potential. And we're here today with great news for Niagara. Today, together with Bioville Canada, we're announcing the Thorold Multimodal Hub and the first major step in the creation of Niagara Ports. The hub is a 200-acre multimodal facility located in Thorold on the Welland Canal. Bowbell Canada has just acquired the former paper mill, paper mill site and is now a significant partner, and you'll hear more from Paul Veldman in a moment. The Thorold Hub is, a unique, is in unique in having marine, rail, and road connections where mm -hmm. industries can locate for warehousing, transloading, and manufacturing. The property that BioVeld has purchased works together as part of an industrial ecosystem with the adjacent properties, one owned by Hopa Ports, uh, the other owned by Transport Canada and managed by the St. Lawrence Seaway Management Corporation, and that property is leased to Federal Marine Terminals as the operator. It can be a little complicated to explain at first, but that's because it's a unique partnership of several stakeholders. So this is not an announcement just about Hopa or just about BioVeld, but rather the entire partnership that makes this possible. This step forward for Niagara is only possible because of the cooperation of several parties, and I'd like to recognize each of them. Of the municipal and regional, of the, our municipal and regional partners, Mary Gallini, um, Chair Bradley, the elected representatives, and the economic development teams in all of the communities along the canal who are true believers and champions of Niagara's potential. For years, these communities have been working to position Niagara for investment and to create a welcoming environment for companies who want to invest and grow and create jobs in the region. Their vision has been the driving force. Also, our local members of parliament, MP Vance Badaway and MP Chris Biddle, have both been assertive advocates of Niagara to assume its rightful place as a, as a key player in Canada's national transportation and trade network, and most recently, creating the, uh, creating the Niagara Trade Gateway. The St. Lawrence Seaway Management Corporation, whose expert management of the transportation assets throughout the seaway helped to create one of North America's safest and most reliable and most environmentally sound transportation corridors. I know from experience the Seaway recognizes that industrial activity along the banks of the canal also generate cargo within the Seaway system and most importantly create jobs and economic development in the communities located there. We're pleased to have several representatives from the Seaway in the audience today. Federal Marine Terminals, one of the Great Lakes most successful stevedoring operations, which we hope will be overseeing cargo handling on this site, 
integrated with their current operations across the slip at the McCleary site. Uh, this company's professionalism and expertise will be enorm an enormous asset to the customers that locate here. Hopa's role will be to market this site and this entire hub to attract business and investment. It's a task we have done successfully at our ports in Hamilton and Oshawa, so we know very well how much demand there is for well-managed multimodal served industrial space in Ontario. A lot of industrial space in Ontario, especially within marine connections, with marine connections has been squeezed as residential populations grow. But Ontario should still be a place where we make things. Hope is proud to have a role supporting in Ontario's industry, moving the raw materials it needs and helping to get Ontario products to market. As the highways in the GTH uh, get even more congested and our focus on a green economy grows, HOPA's network of ports and facilities can support the creation of sustainable supply chains using the most beneficial transportation mix. And in Ontario, that means making better use of our marine capacity to move goods. As we look ahead to rebuilding our economy, having assets like the Thorold Multimodal Hub open and ready to help businesses thrive is going to be critically important. Thank you. We have a full, full agenda today, so I'm, um, I'm going to try to keep things, keep things rolling. And it's, um, it's my great pleasure to, um, to introduce uh, you to a man of the, the man of the hour, Paul Veldman. He's the, uh, one of the principals at uh, BioVel Canada and the proud new owner of the BioVel Complex within the new uh, Thorold Multimodal Industrial Hub. Today's announcement has been, has been years in the making. In that time, I've come to develop a great deal of respect for Paul and his, um, and his brothers and uh, Dave Townsend, one of the, uh, the chair of the BioVel board. And I'm so pleased that this is, in a, this is in a way the beginning of our next chapter together here in Niagara. Paul, over to you. Uh, thank you, Ian. Thank you very much. And just uh, for those in the audience, um, behind me is David Townsend and my brother Justice directly behind me and my brother John as well. So the, uh, the four of us here um, as partners in BioVille. Um, thank you, Ian, for the introduction and for your support, as you alluded to uh, along the way, uh, that's led to this very monumental day. Uh, and I think it's a good place to start to thank uh, a few other members that have made all this um, a reality. Uh, first of all, our entire legal team at Gowlings, uh, it's been at times very challenging, but thank you. It would not have happened without uh, your persistence, as well as uh, James Morgan, our family law firm, your support was invaluable. Thank you very much. Carol Mitchell at MTE and the whole team at MTE uh, that was involved. Thank you for your extreme diligence. I know we are in good hands going forward on this project. Uh, Michael at JDMI. And your entire team, it's been incredible working with you. The uh, commitment to detail is very appreciated and looking forward to a productive ongoing relationship uh, of which I'm sure. Um, a special thanks uh, goes out to all the existing staff at the plant that have already been invaluable in the transition period. And we are very much looking forward to working alongside you to build out our vision for the BioBelt site. Um, David Townsend, a particular thanks to you, uh, our partner for over a decade. Uh, we thank you for all your guidance and support. And Dave, I'm not sure if you wanted to say just a few words. Now I'm the old guy of the crew here. And these three uh, brothers are uh, interesting people. They've got a lot of talent and they've been applying themselves diligently for over a decade. And this is definitely the high point in our relationship. This is a fantastic piece of property. It's in a great location. And we hope to have a lot more good news in the near future. Thank you to everybody involved. And we sincerely hope to keep our relationship working well. Thank you. Last but not least, I want to thank our entire team for the years of persistence that's been mentioned a couple of times. This has been a very long journey. Uh, it's been hard in the last few days to see this at the end of this long road versus the beginning of, uh, of a long road to come, but we're incredibly confident in what will happen here at the Thorold site. Um, and in particular, thanks to uh, my brothers, 
Justice and John. It's been a, a long road, but we're here and we're very, very excited to move forward. Our team's expertise is in the redevelopment of brownfield and idled industrial properties. Our end goal is to create multi-dimensional spaces for businesses to invest and grow. Nothing pleases us more than to find a place like this one. That is a bit of a diamond in the rough, but has incredible, an incredible list of attributes. It challenges us to think creatively about how it can be repurposed for modern industrial uses. This facility is tremendously appealing to us because of the wide range of potential industrial users it can support. It is a complex of multi, multiple buildings and outdoor spaces, totaling half a million square feet of warehouse space and more than a combined total of 200 acres across the entire multimodal hub. We do love returning back to Niagara. It's a great place to invest. There are few places that can boast the convergence of marine, rail, and road assets on the doorstep of the Canada-US border. Companies that locate here are position, positioning themselves within a day's drive of 130 million consumers in North America and the industrial heartland of the continent. And companies that locate here, as we can see today, are supported by an enthusiastic network of support. We have nothing but good things to say about the reception we've received here in Thorold and Niagara. In particular, Mayor, um, it's been a long road and your incredible support, as you have told me many times, stay focused, get it done. It's that exact support uh, that got this project over the finish line. So thank you for everything that you've done along the way. We're especially happy to be working with Hopa Ports, whose vision and approach to building sustainable multimodal hubs in Niagara is consistent and more than complementary to our own. And of course, we would, have been, we would have loved to make this announcement at the plant today, but are incredibly confident that we will have many future announcements that can be made at the plant in years to come. Uh, we very much look forward to hosting anyone on this call at the plant. Uh, you can reach us and I'm sure Larissa will touch on that later. And in the meantime, we want to showcase a short video tour of the facility. And just to note, this, the, the video is made of the facility in its current state. Uh, we very much look forward to making investments in order to improve the facilities, add to the facilities, and have quite a few tenancies already secured and working with key stakeholders like Walker in the area to make a, that all a reality. So here are a short video and then over back to you, Larissa. We're in Thorold, Ontario in the Niagara region uh, on the site of a former paper mill. It's a 200 acre site uh, that was in operation up until about four years ago and we're here to talk about how we're repurposing it for trade. Biofield Canada purchased this property and they're partnering with Hopa Ports in order to develop it into a multimodal trade hub to facilitate growth of business and trade uh, in the Niagara region. There are 500,000 square feet of warehousing capacity here. Uh, there are rail links, there are uh, marine links, very easy access to the highway. So it's really a perfect site to develop for trade. So this space in particular is a rail cross dock. So we have two rail lines coming in. It's served by locomotive and it has the capacity to uh, load and unload uh, any material from a, from a rail. I believe there's capacity for eight cars here. So it's a great space for transloading lumber and other products that uh, type, different types of steel that you might want to do outside of the uh, outside of the elements. So where we are now is in a warehouse space adjacent to our marine dock. And this is a great example of the types of spaces that are available to the potential users here. There are eight loading bays, high ceilings, there are some at-grade truck doors, and easy access to rail infrastructure. So it's just another example of the type of space that can be repurposed to serve different types of users in the uh, warehousing and trade businesses. 
The Hopa Ports Niagara Complex is located on the Welland Canal system at the midpoint between Lake Ontario and Lake Erie. And this ship passing us right now illustrates how important this site can be and how useful it could be for users that require marine served assets. This warehouse space with its 50 foot ceilings and tremendous amount of racking available is just another example of the types of spaces that the BioValve complex offers for potential users. So whether you're someone looking for manufacturing and high hydrocarbons that are available, or if you need outdoor space for bulk and break bulk, the Bioveld Complex has the assets to meet your needs. I would encourage any business that needs transportation served assets like we've discussed here today to get in touch with Hopa Ports because we have a wide variety of solutions that we'd love to present related to this site. But, um... Hopefully that video gives you a little glimpse of why uh, why we're so uh, so enthusiastic about um, about the opportunity that we have in have in Thorold. Um, next up is my pleasure to introduce uh, MP Chris Biddle uh, for the Saint uh, for the region of Saint Catharines, and he's also the parliamentary secretary to the Minister of Transport, and uh, and has been a tireless champion for Niagara in uh, in Ottawa. Uh, Chris. Thank you so much, uh, Ian, and uh, watching that video brings back a lot of memories. I'm the uh, fourth generation to work at that uh, facility uh, in my family, and it's, it's going to be exciting to see people back working um, in Niagara at the facility. Um, and I'm going to apologize in advance. I have to speak and run um, as I'm in Ottawa and have to run into question period in a few minutes, but uh, I appreciate the opportunity to uh, just say a few words today. When discussing Niagara's economic strength, we talk about the advantages of our geographic location provides us, our close connection to rail, uh, major highways, as well as our proximity to major economic centers, which uniquely positions us. However, despite the Welland Canal traveling through the heart of our community, too often we wave at ships as they go by without thinking about the economic opportunities that the waterway they travel upon can provide us. Today's announcement of the Thorold Multimodal Hub is a step towards capitalizing on the full economic opportunity um, of our transportation, um, uh, transportation opportunities. Um, the employment lands uh, along the Welland Canal provide an incredible opportunity for increased manufacturing and economic development. We know that the billions of dollars worth of goods and materials travel through the canal each year. We know that billions of dollars worth of trade passes through Niagara between the United States and Ontario's major markets via road and rail. The world's multi-million or multimodal hub uh, will connect these uh, transport avenues together and amplify the economic opportunities that these networks create. One only needs to look down the QEW to Hamilton Harbor to see the economic growth multimodal hubs can provide a community. As Canada emerges from a COVID-19 pandemic, it is essential that our economic growth is sustainable. It's also essential that communities adapt and create new avenues for investment. Today's announcement is the first of many steps towards getting the full value out of Niagara's employment lands and creating new and innovative economic opportunities. The growth of Thorold, Thorold Multimodal Hub will mean that we will no longer wave at the ships as they go by. It will mean that workers from Niagara will be loading and offloading goods from those ships connecting those goods with rail and road transport and creator creating greater economic wealth in our own community, as well as those that goods travel to. Today is the result of many months and years of work from many people. It takes the vision to see opportunity and growth where it doesn't currently exist. It takes hard work to bring the many stakeholders together and it takes leadership to have everyone working in the same direction. I wanna say congratulations to Ian Hamilton and the entire team at HOPA for today's announcement. You may Though, as a side note, you may need to find yourself uh, the ability to develop a new acronym one day and, uh, with Niagara's inclusion in uh, Hamilton and Oshawa. Um, and again, thank you, um, Paul. Thank you, Ian, and to your teams for all the great work for your leadership. It's to the benefit of all of Niagara. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Chris, and thank you so much for your ongoing, um, ongoing support. Um, now I'm also uh, pleased to introduce um, MP Vance Badaway. Vance is the MP for Niagara Centre and the chair of the House of Commons Transportation Committee. For years, ba Vance has been advocating for Niagara's potential as a trade gateway, and we're so pleased to be able to call him a, uh, him a friend of the port. Uh, Vance? 
Well, thank you. Thank you, Ian. It's, uh, it is a pleasure to be here. And uh, again, uh, true partnerships and, and the results of partnerships uh, we're recognizing today. As the member of parliament from Niagara Centre and the chair of the Standing Committee on Transport, Infrastructure and Communities, I want to congratulate Hope of Ports, BioVal Canada, Mary Ugolini from, from the City of Thorold, Thorold City Council, City staff, and the residents of Thorold, as well as the businesses of Thorold, on this spectacular achievement. This announcement is a positive and practical solution to a long-held belief that many of the region's marine assets are in fact underutilized and could be leveraged for positive economic impact, job creation, and trade facilitation. The idea of establishing Niagara as an active trade corridor is a notion that we brought to Ottawa back in 2015 when I was first elected. And again, a true partnership it's been working with everybody to make today a reality. Now, after years of working together at all levels of government, the Transport Committee's 2019 study on the subject is gaining traction, attaching to aggressive action plans established by Niagara Ports partnering municipalities, HOPA, and now today, the City of Thorold, Biofeld, and other partners, swiftly executing an action plan toward positive outcomes. Niagara is already a provincially designated gateway economic zone, as well as a gateway economic center, and federally designated foreign trade zone. And adding this multimodal hub under the Niagara Ports banner enhances the ability for our local communities to take full advantage, full economic advantage of the assets we already have in place with the goal of strengthening the regional economy for all. The multimodal hub in Thorold is just the first step in improving supply chain efficiency and transportation logistics, strengthening our region to become an innovative economic transportation logistics based leader. With our close proximity to major markets, and recently ratified trade agreements that elevates our economic population to 1.8 billion. Niagara contributes to the inseparable relationship between Canada's international trade performance and the integrated economies with our trading partners. The Welland Canal passes through the very heart of the city of Thorold, and I could not be more pleased to be a part of this as it harnesses and builds on our foundation and leverages them to create jobs, building a new economy, from a tradition that dates back generations to strengthen innovative economic development opportunities. This reinforces and builds upon relationships, important partnerships and networks that will advance key objectives both now and well into the future. Now we may be a step closer, but there's still lots of, lots of, lots of work to be done. It's gonna take a Team Niagara effort to make this dream a reality. One thing I can say for sure, is that we've had the best people working on this and the future of Niagara is looking very bright. As I often state, words motivate, actions inspire. I look forward to continuing our relationship, working with all of our partners to ensure we aggressively execute the established action plans as is, as is happening today in the city of Thorold. And, if, and with that, inspiring outcomes that will benefit this new Niagara economy. Once again, I want to congratulate the City of Thorold, Bioveld, HOPA, all the partners, as well as thank you for once again, not only identifying the potential and the opportunities available here in Niagara, but as well working toward positive outcomes for not only Niagara, but all of this great nation. Thank you. Thanks, Vance, and thank you very much for your continued continued leadership. I think without you, we would have um, we would have struggled to get so get so far in our progress in the development of Niagara Ports. Um, next up, I, I'd like to introduce um, Mary Terry Ugolini, um, who's been a wonderful supporter of the initiative. Um, very very encouraging to the uh, to the BioVal team to uh, get the uh, get the get the deal done, as Paul talked about earlier. He also um, truly understands that industry still has a role in Southern Ontario's uh, success. And the, um, the interrelationship between communities and, um, and industry is, um, is, is gonna be vital to the success at this facility. And I think that Terry is a wonderful supporter of that. Uh, Terry, over to you. Thank you so much, Ian. First off, I would like to welcome everyone on behalf of Thorold City Council. This is a great day for the city of Thorold and the citizens of the Niagara region. We are now seeing the results and importance of collaboration and how that collaboration is producing results and opportunity. 
The city of Thoral is uniquely positioned to be the engine of a new era in marine transportation in Ontario. This investment by BioValve Canada is a testament to that. Adding the Thorold Multimodal Hub to the Hopa Niagara Ports Network gives their organization the resources it needs to thrive and will diversify local employment opportunities. Today's event is a culmination of years of planning and coordination. This is a true example of progress where we as a city are no longer operating in isolation and working with our neighboring municipalities, the region, Hope and Agri Ports, the private sector, and higher levels of government to create economic sustainability. I would like to thank all citizens and businesses that believe in the city of Thoreau and our members of provincial and federal parliament that represent our best interests and who continue to deliver for our city. Together we can do so much and success will be measured through prosperity and sustainable growth. We are proud of our heritage, our people and our resolve to build back better. Niagara has a strong history in marine and we are well positioned to be a trade and logistics hub for the world given the Welland Canal which runs through our great city and our partner cities. The efficient movement of goods has never been more important to the domestic and global supply chains. As mayor of the city of Thoreau, I know that we will put our best foot forward and we will work toward creating the future, one that will solve complex global problems and give rise to new possibilities for our citizens and businesses. Before closing out my remarks, I would also like to thank city council, our staff, and a special thanks to our CAO, Manoj Dalwaria, and our manager of economic development, Marco Marino, for their instrumental role in making the city of Thoreau truly open for business. We welcome this investment and more to come to the new GTA, the greater Thoreau area. And I wanna thank you. Thanks, um, thanks, thanks very much, Terry. And um, as, as I mentioned earlier, your, your support for both BioVeld and, um, and Hope has been invaluable in getting us, uh, getting us here. So, and, and so last but not least, I'd like to, it's my great pleasure to welcome uh, Regional Chair Jim Bradley, who along with the Economic Development Team at the region are doing wonderful work to attract businesses to, uh, to Niagara. Jim? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, at a time when we're getting a lot of bad news, because of something out of our uh, out of our direct control, that being, of course, COVID-19. It's great to get some good news, and without a doubt, this is a good news announcement today. Uh, it it lends itself to future economic activity, to the creation of jobs, and it utilizes assets that we already have in an appropriate way. Those of us who've watched the canals over the years will recall that at one time there were a number of paper mills along the canal and uh, it was an attractor for that reason, the transportation re reason. And it continued to be so at this time as well. We're fortunate it's a, there's a partnership there and both organizations, both HOPA and uh, BioVeld have very strong and well-earned good reputations in their fields. And that, I think, is what is encouraging to those of us in Niagara. Not many uh, municipalities have what we have in Niagara in terms of the multimodal transportation that's available to us. Uh, we have, of course, major highways. Uh, we have major rail as well. But something that uh, most communities wouldn't have, and that is a major waterway, that being the Welland Canal. And it's uh, certainly available for all. There's been a lot of investment in the canal over the years. We're in close proximity to the American border and that is a tremendous advantage for all of us. Uh, I almost after hearing all of the speakers could have simply said ditto and that would have probably sufficed. Uh, but I did want to emphasize some of those. The, the uh, infrastructure is here as well and that makes a difference when people are looking for an opportunity to invest. They want to know, of course, about transportation. That's always exceedingly important. But they want to know, is there infrastructure there? And where you had an industrial use and the services are there, it makes a huge difference. 
I anticipate that we will see many companies who will take advantage of this opportunity that's going to be available to them. The Niagara region is looking at all times for an opportunity to diversify, as all communities are. In other words, to provide different job opportunities in different fields. And this particular development is one which will lend itself to uh, our staff here being able to channel people to an area where their investment would be paying off well for them and for those of us in this area. We uh, uh, affectionately refer to the Welland Canal as part of Highway H2O. And that's something that cannot be underemphasized, uh, having that additional uh, mode of transportation, uh, which uh, lends itself to a lot of companies' uh, needs in our area. As I mentioned, uh, Hopa has a very good reputation as well, and I, and I want to commend them. I want to certainly uh, commend BioVeld. As I mentioned earlier in my remarks, both organizations that have earned a very good reputation. So for those of us in Niagara, and listen, I think beyond our, our borders as well, uh, this is very good news. The province and the country are looking for these kinds of economic uh, activities, economic opportunities, and certainly we in Niagara uh, join that. I, so I join with our federal members of parliament and we're fortunate to have Chris Biddle as the parliamentary secretary to the Minister of Transportation. So he recognizes the importance of the, the Welland Canal in particular, uh, but also Vance Badaway as chair of the Transportation Committee. So we have two people who are very well positioned there and know the needs of Niagara and what can make Niagara go and, and expand. Uh, you won't find anybody with uh, more enthusiasm than Terry Ugolini, the mayor of Thorold, uh, who once again has uh, opened the door to yet another opportunity for economic activity here in Niagara. So all of us combined are with you. You can be assured of the full cooperation of the Regional Municipality of Niagara, in particular our economic development team here who uh, will work with you uh, to ensure that this is a success. This property is well known. Uh, uh, so I think people will, will recognize it as being uh, strategically located and uh, it will be attractive uh, to those who wish to invest. So good news today. Uh, and as I mentioned at a time when we don't get the kind of news uh, leads that uh, make us happy because of COVID-19. We know we're gonna have to recover from the impact of COVID-19 on all of our communities, including Niagara. And this will certainly be one opportunity that we will have well into the future. So thank you to all who have participated in today's announcement. And I look forward with anticipation as I know our council does and our staff does and working with you to ensure that this is an outstanding success, which I'm confident it will be. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you very much. And now I'm gonna hand it over to uh, Marissa. Thanks very much, everyone. We do have a little bit of time for questions, about 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna open it up to media questions if there are any first, if you could identify yourself um, in the chat so we can unmute you. Um, we'll, uh, we'll take your questions uh, and if there are others from the floor as well, where we will welcome those in turn. Um, just to kick it off while that gets uh, rolling, maybe I can, um, I can ask a, uh, pa our panel a question that we received coming into today's session about um, the types of businesses that we are expecting to attract to the Thorold Multimodal Hub. Where do we see the opportunities? Maybe I'll direct that one to Ian. Yeah, so I think that the, um, probably the, the, the biggest thing that this, um, the whole facility has to offer are, um, are the multimodal transportation assets. And so we see that um, any company that can benefit from, um, from efficient, uh, sustainable supply chains will see this, uh, this location uh, attractive. In addition to all of the natural assets that are available in Niagara that, uh, 
many, many have mentioned earlier earlier today, um, proximity to the US border, access to the Welland Canal, access to a great uh, 400 series highway system, access to rail, available um, available industrial zoned land. It's all, um, any, any company that I think um, CFC are going to uh, find this site to be, uh, extremely attractive. So that's, um, ho hopefully that uh, gives you an understanding of the, the types of business we, we see um, finding um, finding good use uh, good use here and to that note we've already had some great um, great interest uh, one company that uh, was mentioned earlier today was Walker uh, Walker Industries who's um, who's uh, <clears throat> showing some interest in helping us to develop the uh, develop the site and we look forward to working with them okay thanks again if you have any questions you can either raise your hand in the chat or drop them into the chat but I, I'll have a, I have another one here um, we have a number of um, representatives from local chambers of commerce and the Niagara Industrial Association on the call today. Um, and it, uh, w we are wondering what, um, maybe, maybe a question to the, um, the civic representatives on the panel, what can, what can everyone do in partnership to leverage the, um, the momentum that the, um, the Thorold Multimodal Hub and uh, the multimodal transportation um, assets in Niagara. What can we all do together to work in partnership? Can I open that up? Maybe to, we'll start off with Vance. Thank you, Larissa. And I think what we have to recognize is that, you know, with, in particular with the, the trade agreements that were that were signed, uh, specifically T, TPC or CPTPP as well as as well as uh, CETA, uh, it, it now recognizes and identifies Niagara as as, as the heartland of transportation. Uh, when you attach yourself to 1.8 billion people, which is now our economic population with those trade agreements in place, uh, anything going in or out of the Midwest uh, must come through the St. Lawrence and, and of course the Welland Canal being a part of that. With that said, uh, we have to be prepared for that growth opportunity. Uh, and, and that's not only just infrastructure when it comes to capital work along our roads or rail and our, and our water ways like the Welland Canal, but also our workforce and ensuring that our workforce is, 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 is in our skilled trades are prepared. Uh, and of course, the supply chain that uh, is going to be dependent upon when, uh, when, when things start growing. So when Biofeld starts, starts bringing in companies and, and of course, this site starts uh, growing, uh, it's going to be incumbent upon us as a region to work very close together with all our partners to ensure not only the capital infrastructure is, is, is in place in preparation of this growth, but also our human resource infrastructure is in place, uh, skill trades, as well as a supply chain. Thank you very much. Uh, Mayor Ugolini, did you, did you want to add to that, the importance of partnerships? Well, I think that uh, that's one thing when we signed the MOU uh, uh, was very uh, forward that we need to work together. And uh, by working together with uh, all levels of government, we can achieve more. And we also have two great post-secondary institutions in the area, Brock University and Niagara College that we can leverage as well. So, you know, from a city perspective, we're gonna work hard from an economic development side with all our partners. And uh, we'll also look at uh, infrastructure projects that may enhance the site but uh, it's all about teamwork moving forward. Excellent. We have a question from Ted. Is there rail service currently active and who is the provider? Ian, can I direct that to you? Uh, it's directly served by, uh, by CN and the rail service hasn't been used for the last couple of years, but uh, with a small amount of investment, it can be activated in the, um, in the short term. Okay. Um, Next up, Regional Chair Bradley, um, you spoke about diversification. Um, can you speak a little bit about the Niagara region's approach to attracting business? You have a very um, active economic development team. Can you tell us what's new there and how you're looking for um, to, to uh, engage the, the restart of the economy? We have been extremely um, fortunate to have a large uh, tourism industry, tourism and hospitality industry in Niagara. Uh, we will notice under the situation we confront with COVID-19 that it is particularly hard impacted. And we want to continue to expand and grow the tourism and hospitality portion of our economic uh, milieu here in Niagara. Nevertheless, we do want to encourage some diversification as well. 
And uh, what we can do from the point of view of Niagara, similarly with the uh, city of Thorold, is to be able to respond quickly uh, to the needs of this particular development. Uh, have a quick response team, uh, not tie things up in red tape uh, unnecessarily. And uh, I think that's going to be important to have that kind of response. I should mention as well, and Terry Ugolini alluded to this, this is a kind of development that is appreciated by all of Niagara. Uh, our approach, I think, uh, these days, because it has been said in the, in the years gone by, perhaps, that, uh, that Niagara was somewhat parochial and one community uh, was happy to get a development of some kind and uh, looked with envy in others. Today in Niagara, all of the communities that we have here are enthusiastic when we see a development in any of our communities. And so all of Niagara will be cheering on Thorold and the development that is there. Uh, our council itself is certainly wants to see, uh, again, a diversification of the kind of, of industri industrial base we have here. We're fortunate the Niagara Industrial Association is active and uh, helpful along with our Chambers of Commerce. Uh, I can tell you that uh, in our area, yes, from the government sector, we're prepared to be very responsive, uh, but we have that asset of the Niagara Industrial Association uh, and other organizations similar, and of course the Chambers of Commerce, which uh, uh, spread the word quickly and uh, are very, very helpful to all of us. So that will, that will benefit us immensely along with the, as I say, the representation we have and the provincial parliament and the federal parliament where those kinds of approvals are going to be necessary and that kind of encouragement will be needed. Thank you very much. I think if Thank there you. are no other questions, we'll, uh, we'll wrap up for the time being. If you do have more questions, I would certainly encourage you to reach out to our team. For commercial inquiries, you can contact Jeremy Dunn um, at, uh, at HOPA. And it, for media inquiries, you can contact me directly. Um, our information and more background on the Thorold Niagara or the Thorold Multimodal Hub can be found on our website at hopaports.ca. Thanks to everybody on our panel today for uh, celebrating this great news with us. Thank you everyone for taking part in this announcement today on behalf of all our speakers. We wish you an excellent afternoon. We'll um, just close with another video that we hope you'll enjoy, but uh, stay well and take care out there. Have a great day.